Hi folks, Steve here for Magician.com, making Minecraft modding as easy as possible. And today we're going to be running through the tutorial of how to install Mod Loader MP. So, starting from the Magician homepage, we want to go to the Mod Selector and click on Core, as this is a Core mod. That'll take us to the Core front page. Just scroll down until you find Mod Loader MP, then click on that heading there. And that'll take us to the front page of Mod Loader, where you see the creator's description and credits and all that sort of thing. Just click straight onto the Download and Installation tab. Now the first thing we see here is three big warnings, two of which we have to worry about immediately. First, you have to make sure you are not running Minecraft when installing this mod. And secondly, that this tutorial assumes you followed all the instructions in the Toolkit section of the Modgician website. So if you haven't done that yet, you want to go and do that first. But assuming you have, we shall move on. So the first step, of course, is to download the mod itself. Now you have to make sure, as it says in this warning, that you're downloading the right version of the mod for the version of Minecraft you are using. I currently have 1.2.4, so I'll click on that link there. Now this will open an AdFly page, which is pretty easy to handle. We just have to wait till this counter has counted down from 5 to 0, and then we can click on Skip Add, and it will start the download for us. Now I've got mine set to ask me where I want to save it. If you don't, it's going to go straight to your downloads folder. But where we actually want it to go is to your desktop and then into the mod downloads folder which you've created in the toolkit section. Then we click on the right version of Minecraft. I'm using 1.2.4 as I said. And then we're going to hit save and that'll go right in there. Okay, we can shut down this AdFly page now and we'll minimize this window and go to the Mod Downloads folder which we created and we'll click on the, the right version, 1.2.4 and there's the Mod Loader MP zip. Now, now we want to right click on that file, select 7-zip and then open archive. Okay, there it is. We'll just leave that one on the right there. Excellent. Now we can shut down this window and go to the dot minecraft shortcut which you also set up in the toolkit section. We'll open that up and we look for bin. It should be right up the top there. And then down towards the bottom we should find minecraft.jar. Now we do exactly what we did with the file we just downloaded. We right click go 7-zip and open archive. Sorry that went off the edge of the window there. There's the uh, opened jar.archive so we'll drag that onto the left. So on the right we've got the file we just downloaded. On the left we've got the open minecraft.jar. We want to select everything over here. You can either click and drag or hit control A is your keyboard shortcut to grab everything. And then grab it and drag it over to the left window. Now when it asks if you're sure you want to copy the files just click yes. There we go. So now we can shut down this window on the right and as it says on the website, the penultimate stage is to look for a yellow folder called meta-inf. You'll find this in the minecraft.jar, but it might not be there. If it's not, as it's not here, don't worry about it. But if it is, you want to delete it immediately, as it will stop your mod from working. So now that we've seen that it's not there, or deleted it if it is, we can shut down that window and go to the last stage, which is of course to load Minecraft itself. Okay, there we go, there's Minecraft, so we'll just log in there. And basically, as soon as it gets to the Mojang splash screen, you know everything's probably working okay, there we are. But it's still worth going in and loading up a world to make sure everything is actually going smooth. And that's it. Assuming you've followed all the instructions in this tutorial properly, you now have a copy of Mod Loader MP working for your version of Minecraft. We hope you found this video useful. Feel free to come back to Modgician.com to get any other mods you might want for your copy of Minecraft. And until then, good luck and good gaming.